What were you thinking about a second ago? Or rather, how were you thinking about it? It's a surprisingly tricky question to answer. Investigating what's going on inside our own minds doesn't seem to be a difficult task. But by trying to shine a light on those thoughts, we're disturbing the very thing we want to measure in the first place. It's like turning a light on quickly to see how the darkness looks. Psychologist Russell Hurlburt at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, has spent the last few decades training people to see inside their own minds more clearly in an attempt to learn something about our inner experiences. What he's found suggests that the thoughts running through our heads are a lot more varied than we might suppose. For one thing, words don't seem to be as important in our day-to-day -day thoughts as many of us think they are. Most people think that they think in words, but many people are mistaken about that, he says. In one small study, for example, 16 college students were given short stories to read. While reading, they were asked at random times what they were thinking. Only a quarter of their sampled thoughts included words at all, and just 3% involved in a speech. But for psychologists like Hurlburt, researching inner speech is not an easy task. Simply asking people what they're thinking about won't necessarily prompt an accurate answer, says Hurlburt. That is partly because we're not used to paying close attention to our wandering minds. For Mira Racy, who is the coordinator of the Inner Speech Lab at Mount Royal University in Canada and her colleagues, recently used a method called thought listing, which, unsurprisingly, involves getting participants to list their thoughts at certain times to take a broader look at why and when people use inner speech, as well as what they say to themselves. They found that the participants in the study were talking to themselves about everything from school to their emotions, other people and themselves, while they were doing everyday tasks, like walking and getting in and out of bed. According to Racy, research shows that inner speech plays an important role in self-regulation behaviour, problem-solving, critical and logical thinking, and future thinking. There's also growing evidence that inner speech is important for self-reflection. After scientist Jill Bolt-Taylor recovered from a stroke she suffered when she was 37, she wrote about what it was like to experience a silent mind without inner speech for several weeks. It was such an overwhelming task, she wrote, to simply sit there in the centre of a silent mind, trying to remember who she was and what she was doing. But even though current research can't yet shine a light on those bigger truths about the inner workings of our minds, learning how to pay attention to your thoughts could help you on an individual level.